Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in the series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. If you want to try these real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate questions, go ahead and check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now, this series has been such a fantastic experience for everyone preparing for the real estate exam, not just this series, but this channel in general. So if you're interested in that, if you're interested in passing the real estate exam, make sure to click that like button and subscribe. That way you're fully prepared come exam day. All right, guys. Anyways, let's talk about GRM. So we did a video yesterday covering that. We're going to be talking about it again today. So let's take a look at this question. All right. So it says find the annual GRM a 10 unit building in Dallas, Texas, with an asking price of $5 million and gross annual rents of $225,000, round to the nearest hundredth. And it's gonna have them give us four options, A, 2.22, B, 5.23, C, 22.22 or 22.22, uh, D, 30.36. All right, so as always, I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to pause here, uh, bust it out, do the math yourself, and then we'll talk about the answer and kind of how we got that in a little bit. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer. If you need more time, feel free to pause. Uh, totally okay if you need to do that. But I'm gonna bust it out and I'm gonna get us the answer together. So what is the correct answer for this one? Well, it's going to be 22.22. That's right, 22.22. Now, as I mentioned in the video before, the formula that you need to remember is gross rent multiplier equals property price divided by gross rental income. So in our case, for this problem, let's take a look at what that would look like. So again, you're gonna be taking that $5 million, which is also our gross, or I'm sorry, which is also our property price, and then you're going to be dividing that by the gross rental income, which is this number right here, that $225,000. And what is that gonna give you? That's gonna give you the 22.22. And it's as simple as that. And again, what does a 22.22 mean? Well, it would take 22.22 years. A lot of twos in this problem. <laughs> it would take that many years to pay off uh, or break even in terms of the uh, investment. So again, this is a great tool for real estate investors. Uh, if you work in commercial property uh, as a real estate agent, you're often going to be asked to look at these GRMs maybe with one of your clients and kind of evaluate their options in terms of what properties they should buy and stuff like that. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this one. Um, if you didn't watch the one yesterday, I encourage you to. It explains a little bit more about GRM and all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to do another GRM problem probably tomorrow, and then we're going to get into some other stuff. As I mentioned before and this week, if you guys have any feedback, if you have any comments, questions, all that good stuff, let me know down below. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. See you next time.